let's see um, how are strings easier what are strings and how are they easier and then arrays so strings are actually they're same as character array but they have too many features and they are very very easy to handle so the first thing first of all let's see declaration and then initialization so while declaring a string you can see how easy it is you just have to write the data type the name and you can see right here you don't have to tell the size of the string so there are only two things data type and the name and then afterwards you can see how easy it is to just initialize it there, there are no curly braces nothing and also it automatically see how many elements are right here you don't have to tell it now the second thing is user input let's see how do we do that so for that we have a function named get line it has again two parameters the first parameter is cn and the second parameter is the name of your array uh, sorry not the array the name of your string which we have str1 right here so what actually is happening whatever will be present in cn will be copied to string 1 will be written in str1 and what is cn cn is your is your input that you are entering um, while running your code entering from your keyboard so um, it will just be copied in string one. Uh, what are the benefits of the array? You can see clearly there is no fixed size. This is a big thing. This is a really big advantage. No fixed size, right? The size is calculated at runtime. And another big thing is this. You don't have to worry about backslash zero, about the null character. You don't have to think about that. Next thing. Uh, we saw different functions for character arrays. Let's see the same things for strings. So if you want to copy one string into another string, how simple is that? How cool is that? You just have to write equal operator. String 2 will be copied to string 1. str2 will be assigned to str1. It's, it's that easy. Okay, the next thing is if you want to concatenate the two strings and for this, this function, we used strcat function in char arrays. How simple is that? You just have to write the plus operator. So str1 plus str2, they both will be concatenated, joined. So they both, both will be like this written together as I just explained a little while ago. So they both will be calculated, uh, sorry, they both will be concatenated just by just using the plus operator. And then they will be assigned to str3. This is, this is very easy and very simple compared to the function that you had to use in character arrays. The third thing, again, this is so cool. The third thing is, if you want to compare two strings, how easy it, it is by, you can just do that by doing, by using the comparison operators which you use in integers. So you can compare two strings just like that. And the fourth thing is the size. For that, you have to use a function size. It will give you the length of that string. Also, um, for comparison, we have this function available if you want to use it. And it is similar to string compare. It, its output and its functionality is similar to string compare. But why will you use it when you have some, something this simple and this cool present? 